Welcome to the next instalment of Katie's super amazing Netherlands vlogs that are the best thing to ever grace this website. <laughs> okay, let's just readjust this slightly. So here we go, another week, another video. The third video in a row that I have uploaded on a Monday. So it's going okay so far. <laughs> At the moment I'm just seriously digging into my classes, or at least I should be, but my procrastination levels are absolutely going to the next level. <laughs> my procrastination levels are so high that last week I even scrubbed the toilet. It's it's really that bad. <laughs> oh, it's warm in here, so I'm just gonna tie my hair for a moment because I don't actually have a window I can open in this room, I just have a door. So I don't really want to have the entire door open, so I'm just gonna have to sweat in this little heat box for a while. <laughs> so last week I experienced something that I'd never seen before, which was a night market. Every year Telberg runs a night market where anyone can get a stall and sell all their crap. <laughs> it was a bizarre concept because it ran from around 8 o'clock at night all through the night and then again till 5 p.m. the next day. <laughs> and Every single street in the centre was absolutely filled with little stalls selling all sorts of random crap, but it was great random crap. <laughs> People can hoard so much stuff. <laughs> I was super intrigued and I looked at every single stall and there was just so much random little trinkets and just the randomest stuff. It's just people clearing out. It's just like a little insight into other people's lives, I guess. Because it's kind of just like a massive, massive boot sale. Car boot sale, even. <laughs> So I actually picked up a few things. At one stall, there was a crate full of many little liqueur bottles. And yes, they are full and unopened. There we go. So I got this little Cointreau bottle, which is pretty cute. These are only a one euro each, by the way. I got a little vintage Malibu bottle and a little vintage Bailey's bottle as well. But yeah, I just felt like I had to buy a little trinket of some kind and as an ex-bartender, I actually really, really enjoy these little mini bottles and they are still full, so I might actually drink them one day. But maybe not the Baileys, that can just stay in the bottle because it's probably curdled and nasty. But that's not all I bought. I got this nice dress, like a long kind of maxi dress, it was only 150. Uh, I just kind of seen it and it just kind of called to me, the kind of funky pattern. Don't really wear dresses that often, but um, especially a long one like this, but I'll find an occasion to wear it because it's quite nice and again, it was only 150. But my favourite purchase was definitely this little find. I got this Adidas 3 striper. I really like Adidas and I know, yes, I'm a little bit of an Adidas fanboy and I've always really, really wanted a blue 3 striper for so long, but they're ridiculously expensive. You know how much I spent on this? 3 euros. Yes, this only cost me 3 euros. And yeah, the, the zip's broken on it, but like I can get a zip fixed. And again, they're not really, that's that's not really that important. I've got myself a little Adidas 3 striper that's blue. My favorite color. What else could I ask for? But yeah, that's all I bought the night market. Um, But I'm really pleased with my purchases. I'm moving back to Scotland in like two months and I already have too much stuff that I have to hoard back with me. So I'm trying to keep it limited. But it's time for the new weekly segment. Dutch fact, all of Holland is in the Netherlands, but not all of the Netherlands is in Holland. Yes, that's right. Holland and the Netherlands, they're not actually the exact same thing. The Netherlands is actually split into 12 different provinces, and North Holland and South Holland being two of them. Here in Tilburg, I'm actually in North Brabant. So, there you go. A little Dutch fact for you. So yeah, on Saturday I'm going to be going to Volendam, which is in North Holland, as a kind of class trip with the exchange students. It's apparently a very, very stereotypical Dutch town, so it'll be very interesting to go there. For you, you get to see Volendam momentarily, but for me, I have to go back to being productive and actually making a start on all my schoolwork, and then going to Volendam. But, you know, I'll see you then. So yeah, it's pretty early to be up at this time in the morning on a Saturday, but we're off to the London today and it's looking really nice, so let's go. <laughs> None of us really knew what we were getting up to on this day since it was all planned and organised by the school and we booked it months and months ago when we first arrived. 
What a lot of us didn't realise is that we were actually getting the bus to Marken, and then we spent a few hours in Marken before we ended up getting the boat over to Volendam. Marken was a very lovely little quaint town that I actually enjoyed a lot more than Volendam. We went to a clog factory where they showed us how they make clogs and why they even wore clogs in the first place, which was pretty interesting. And I even got to try on a pair of clogs myself. We then had a few more hours to explore Marken before we ended up getting the boat to Volendam. but it doesn't really surprise me considering it was such a warm Saturday. When we first arrived in Volodam, we went to a strawfaffle factory where we learned how to make them and my friend Talia even got to make one herself. Wow. Yeah. But what makes it special here in Volodam, they would add extra butter but also a hint of cinnamon. So it's very delicious but be careful, it's fattening actually, no? <laughs> And yeah, then we had a few more hours just to hang around and explore some more before we headed back on the bus to go home. So yeah, that was our trip to Marken and Volendam, which was just such a perfect, lovely, sunny day. <laughs> I think it was when we left Volendam, it was about 31 degrees outside, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy heat. But yeah, so on this trip, we were particularly touristish and I got myself some little souvenirs for when I go back home. I got myself this little clog that has little flowers inside, so when I go home, I can plant my flowers in my little clog, which is nice. <laughs> and then I also bought a t-shirt because I wanted to get a t-shirt that wasn't like crazy touristy when it comes to the Netherlands, but I got this nice little Holland t-shirt that has some tulips on it, which is very, discreetly patriotic. <laughs> so yeah, that was all for this week. Next Monday is actually my birthday, so I should maybe make a birthday related vlog of some kind. <laughs> so, like this video, ein abonnier, ja ein ich sehe volgende Mandag.